I'd like for everybody to subscribe. Share. Send all comments to all content. Right now, man, it's a beautiful day, man. And uh, I'm just out here enjoying life. Y'all see this here? Man, I'm gonna start printing these shirts up, man, start selling them because I got this, this non-profit organization that I'm trying to push, man. Set the pump, you man. You know what I'm saying? I got homeboys, man. I got zones, man, that's uh they got locked up or either uh it's not here no more, you know what I'm saying? And uh back in the days it was good money being made, but a lot of people, man, left boys and their families and stuff, you know, and in the culture, you know, by the absence. So I started coming up with Saber Palm Unani to give back, you know what I'm saying, to the families that was left behind from these soldiers that stood ground, man, and gave the old name what it what it really is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me let me show y'all this shirt. I wanna show y'all this this is shirt. Let's see if I can get a good Cut my car off because I'm finna run over here to the store too. <laughs> yeah, I want to show y'all this shirt, man. I got made. I'm finna start printing this up, man, for uh Silver Palm United. And these shirts is gonna generate money to my zoes that's locked up. The ones that's doing time and the ones that's uh the ones that's, that's dead and gone, right? That the past, you see? See the back of the shirt? Y'all really zo, man. Y'all know who that is. Y'all know who them people is, man. If you any represent it. So, uh, So yeah, man, uh, I'm gonna start printing, up, man. I'm gonna start, you know, trying to link in with Cash Man, try to see what we'll for us revenue and for us changing the narrative of the Zoe name, you know what I'm saying? Because we got youngsters out here that don't even understand why Zoe was even created and why the Zoe name is, uh, where is that? They want to glorify the stuff that Cash did, man, back in the days, man the time that pe that a person served and all that. Back in the days, the cat did stuff, man, that they had to do, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't nobody giving you nothing. And people try to say that nowadays, be like, oh, ain't nobody giving me nothing. I gotta do this and I gotta do, no, you got options today. All you gotta do is use your mind. I, I was incarcerated and I, I started businesses and stuff incarcerated in places where I never had family. I don't even have homeboys or nothing, but I was able to generate money and generate revenue for people that's outside, man, to be able to pay their taxes with. So if I was able to do that while I was incarcerated, serving a life without the possibility of release, bro, there is no reason why somebody out here on the streets can't do the same thing. I understand if you're a dope fiend and you're doing dope or you're an alcoholic, and you, you, you're drinking all the time and you're drinking your money down to the point where you can't think, you know? I understand that. Yeah, you got some people, man, that, that, that let their addiction run wild with them, you know? But a person that don't have them type of addictions and stuff, you know? And especially if you're getting out of prison. When you're getting out of prison, you ain't got, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no reason to be getting out of, out of prison with an addiction. If you were sitting up in prison, getting high the whole time you was in prison and not trying to use your mind to get out here on the streets, man, and do something with yourself, man, that's, that, that's positive or, or something that'll get you out your stupor. You know what I'm saying? You, you one of the people that, that, that deserve to be in the position you at. You got to stop blaming people for the position you at. You there because that's where you want to be. You ain't there because ain't nobody, don't nobody want to give you. Ain't nobody got to give you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Who's entitled to give you something? You know, you're a grown man, especially. Now, I understand when you was a kid, when you was a kid, you had your mom and daddy and they was obligated. They was obligated to be there for you because that's your mom and dad. You know what I'm saying? 
but you a grown man. Your, your parents and stuff is not obligated to be there for you no more. They there because they want to be there and they love you. Your sisters, your brothers is not obligated to be there for you no more. You a grown man. They there because they love you. You know what I'm saying? You got to be there for yourself, bro. Every man got to be there for himself. Every woman got to be there for himself. Once you hit a certain age, you can't rely on other people, man, to be there for you. More than you there for your damn self. Period. You know what I'm saying? And that's real talk, bro. It's a lot of people don't want to hear it because they want to be in that, in that old roach life for the rest of their life. You know what I'm saying? They always want to, you got cats that always want to justify and they always want to have somebody to point the finger at. You know? It ain't my fault. You don't want to point the finger at you. You want to point the finger at everybody else with, besides taking, taking ownership of what you're doing. You know? So, yeah, but, uh, if cats getting out of prison, man, with addictions and all that stuff, man, you done all this time in prison. If you'd have done over a year in prison, you should have detoxed, bro. There is no reason you, you getting out, you know what I'm saying, and going back to drugs if you really try to leave drugs alone, you know? That's all I'm saying. You keep track. You sure you can get yeah, 75? Keep... Okay, something, sir. <laughs> Have a good night, sir. Yep, you too. Yeah, man. Uh, but like I was saying. Yeah, but anyway, like I was saying, uh, yeah, I'm going to start trying to put these sweaters and these shirts, you know what I'm saying, online to try to generate some income for uh, Save Palm United, which is a non-profit organization that I'm building. And I'd like for uh, other souls to, to link in with me, man, so we can make this here grow. So we can get this stuff going, man. You know what I'm saying? Have, have stuff popping among those, man. Instead of having a negative, a negative look about ourselves, man. Everybody wanna grab on to the negative stigma that they think the Zo movement was all about. That showed them that uh, we real corporate and uh, business minded. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to do. When you when when a person speak of Zoe, they be like, man, them, them cats, man, they get they got banks. You know what I'm saying? They got schools, they got libraries, they got streets named after, you know, and museums and all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Under the under the name. Every time a person say Zoe, they want to look at all oh, yeah, them Haitians, they crazy. I want I want a cat when they say when they say Zo, they be like, man, them Zoes, man, they they business minded, man. Them dudes got this, they they you name it, you know. And I was talking to this queen. I was talking to this queen earlier, man, on on, on one of my streams. I was on her screen, really. And uh she was telling me about the president, you know what I'm saying, and how 
we as people, man, as a culture, we just let this president get assassinated. We're not standing, we're not standing firm and trying to get justice for this president getting killed by some Colombians, some Colombians coming into, into the country and going into this man's house and shooting his wife and killing him. His wife is out here campaigning, campaigning by herself, trying to get something done, get justice for her husband, man. And we as a people, especially us as Zoes, man, that's here in America, man, we the staple. When, when people hear Zoes, the first thing they, they, they look at is Haiti. The first thing they see is Haiti, bro. You know what I'm saying? We fly the flags. We, we represent Haiti. You know, when you say Zo, that name represent Haiti, bro. And we not even standing firm and trying to push and trying to push the uh the justice of a president that got knocked down, man. You know, this is a president that was getting stuff done, man, in Haiti. He was he was shaking ground in Haiti, man, getting stuff done for the people. He was elected by the people. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't put in office. So we just going to let this man just, he get murdered. And we just don't care no more. But we sitting here in America, you know what I'm saying? Flying, flopping the Haitian flags and stuff, man, like his unity, like his power in it. You know what I'm saying? With this name that hold a whole lot of weight with Haiti. And we not coming together, bro. We letting this woman, man, carry the reins by herself. Let, 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 let a foreign country come to the United States and, and, and hit the president here and see how the United States is going to turn around and uh, hold justice against that country or make that country hold justice against the people that did it. You know what I'm saying? If they don't do nothing, they're going to make that, they're going to they gonna hold justice to the country. Trust you. So, uh, we need to start doing the same thing, bro. Cats want to run around and holler about Zoe this and Zoe that and trying to live the gangster life of Zoe, you know what I'm saying? That ain't, that ain't, that ain't Zoe. That ain't the Zoe movement, bro. The Zoe moon movement was the unification, man, and the honor and the love for your people and your country. That's what it was designed for. So, if you got love and you got unity and you got support for your people in your country, how can you stand by and allow your president to get murdered on his homeland by some foreign, some foreign people? And you don't stand. You ain't got nothing to say. But you gangster. You want to holler, holler, come on, man. What the hell? Any Zoe out there, man, that's seeing this, bro. Any Zoe, any Haitian, any anybody that 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 that, that represent and got love for their people, man. Go on your TikToks. Go on to the YouTubes. Go on your IGs. Go everywhere you could possibly go. And look up Martin Moise. And I want y'all to support her. I want y'all to put hashtags in. Hashtag Justice for Juvenile Moise. Come on, man. Some need to be held. Some need to be done for the murder of this man. So, my thing is, uh, I promised my queen, I promised this queen, man, that I was gonna get, get at my zoes, man, to try to have them to stand up. And so, if we, we pushing zo, this is how y'all stand up. So, uh. I'm going to get up off here, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like, subscribe, leave all comments, share all, all content. And uh, I'll get at y'all next time.